3A license is going to be easier as you won't need to learn how to operate the clutch and gearbox. Okay, no, 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 okay, no, okay, that's okay. <laughs> Why was everyone laughing? Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. So you finally turned 18 and are now legally able to take your first step into adulthood in Singapore. No, we're not talking about going to the club, but you could do that. We are in fact talking about getting a driver's license. Whether you're 18 or older, here's everything you need to know about getting your license here in Singapore. How does one go about getting a driver's license? There are two questions that you need to ask yourself. First, do you want or need to drive a manual car? If yes is the answer, you need to get a Class 3 license. If you don't, getting a Class 3A license is going to be easier, faster, and cheaper as you won't need to learn how to operate the clutch and gearbox. Then there's the second thing to think of, school or private instructor. You would have come across the predicament of either doing your research online or among your peers who have gotten their license and champion one over the other. The pros and cons of each can be a whole other video, but here's the TLDR. Those that are more confident in their abilities here will typically opt for a private instructor as you'll be able to save money if you end up taking fewer practical lessons before your test. But if you're unsure about your ability to handle a car, taking lessons to the school will likely be an easier learning experience. Either way, you will still find yourself in one of the three driving schools in Singapore. Bukit Batok Driving Centre, Singapore Safety Driving Centre, and ComfortDelGro Driving Centre. The process of getting a driver's licence in Singapore is thankfully quite straightforward. Like so. This is what you're looking at in terms of the steps required to get you over the finishing line and getting the coveted driver's license into your heads. The basic theory test is the first hurdle you need to overcome. Here, you'll be tested on traffic rules, signs, signals, road markings, and general road safety. Achieve the passing mark of 45 over 50, and you can unlock the provisional driving license, which means you are now legally able to drive on the road, with an instructor, of course. Without the PDL, you can only drive in the circuit. Now you're ready to go full throttle for your practical lessons. On average, expect to go through 20 or more practical lessons to get you up to speed with the circuit causes and practice what you've learned on the road, although this will vary from person to person of course. While this is happening, don't forget to complete three mandatory simulator lessons and take the final theory test. The FTT focuses on areas that you would have put into practice during your practical lessons. This includes vehicle operation, driving techniques, and what to do when faced with common situations when on the road. Again, score a minimum of 45 over 50 to pass. The FTT also has a two-year validity, so be sure to attain your license by then. And all that leads to the last boss, the practical test. Here, you'll be joined by a traffic police tester armed with a very important piece of paper that will determine whether you pass or fail this test. This will be the culmination of whatever you've learned and will begin in the circuit before going out to the public roads on a route decided by your tester. Pass this test and you'll be able to hit the roads in your own car, unsupervised. Now let's talk cost. As a start, enrollment at the school will cost around $100 to $200, while private driving instructors will cost about $80 to $90. Straight after, you'll have to do an eyesight test for $1.82, then an ID photo will be taken for your eventual license. That's another $6.42. Depending on the driving centre, school learners will need to pay for additional lessons and internal tests as required by the course you enrolled for, like these from BBDC and CDC. The basic theory test and the final theory test each will cost you $6.50 to attempt. Also, that's not all. That PDL that we spoke of to get you on the road will be $25. You'll most likely spend the bulk of your money on practical lessons. The average learner can take between 20 to 28 lessons depending on how well you do behind the wheel. Practical lessons for school learners will cost $70 to $90 a lesson, and these will sit within a structured program. The consensus is that you'll take more lessons compared to learning with a private instructor at a school. If you're learning from a private instructor, each lesson will typically cost around $60 each. That's cheaper than the prices of the school's cost. However, you will need to pay extra for each lesson that utilizes the driving center circuit. But wait, there's more. The compulsory simulator sessions will run you 24 AT per session, and you're required to go for three in total. Lastly, the practical test. Be prepared to set aside $280 to $350 for the car rental and test fee. And once you pass this last test, stump up a final $50 for your physical driver's license card to be mailed to your home. In total, most people will spend anywhere from $2,000 to $2,800 to get their license. Before we go, here's some tips for anyone still thinking about getting a driver's license. <laughs> These books that you can get from local publishers are okay, but we think it's an unnecessary expense. They are $10 a piece, so that's $40 in total if you're getting the whole set. Head to the Singapore Police Force website instead and download the BTT and FTT handbooks there. They will serve you just as well. Since we are on the SPF website, the Traffic Police have also made the BTT and FTT mock tests available online too. No more hitting up dodgy test websites like your friends did for their test. All you have to do is log in using your SingPass and you can go through a simulated test that runs for 50 questions in 15 minutes. Just like the real thing. 
Finally, the practical test. Think of it this way, better to spend the extra $60 to $80 for another practical lesson, or two, to build up your confidence rather than foot the 300 inch rental and test fee again should you fail. Now that you know what lies ahead of you and are equipped with the tools, set up your own driving journey via the links to the driving centers and traffic police resources in the description box below. Comment below if you're thinking about getting a driver's license, and if you already have one, share your own personal experiences. We're keen to hear them. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be updated on all our latest videos, and follow us on TikTok at SGKamat for the fun stuff. All right, that's all from us. Thanks for watching, good luck, and we hope to see you on the roads pretty soon. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching and good luck. Oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Last, thanks for watching and <laughs> just one line, like, just one line, just one line. <laughs>